My name is John Shipton. I came here today to accept on my son Julian Assange's behalf an Aboriginal passport whereby one can travel between the sovereign Aboriginal nations of Australia. to generate support for Julian's situation and all we ask of the government is to respond to the actual situation that Julian's in rather than responding to requests by the American ambassador. This is the declaration that you must sign in order to get the passport which goes to say that the Aboriginal people are sovereign and that you acknowledge that. What's the address you've got on there for <laughs> the Julian? Equi care of the Ecuadorian Embassy. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Can we see the inside of it? Is the, there a photo? The, uh, no, photo's not there yet. There's I didn't no photo. bring it this morning. Oh, right, uh, okay. I have it in my pocket. Oh, you'll put your photo in there. Uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, it's kind of ironic that Julian has, a, has this sort of passport because he's often said that he feels like the Australian government's well, the irony is a, a great help, you know, and it, uh, it, to bring to notice to people that you know the situation uh, is uh, well very questionable, morally very questionable, and uh, you know, that the, the foreign minister could do a little more, although he says he's done a lot. You know, he won't speak to me. So. John, do you think this will make an impression? Oh, I think Australians are genuinely moved by the plight of Aboriginal people. And I, I, I think that the Australians uh, are genuinely concerned and moved by the plight of Julian Assange and the work of WikiLeaks. I just wouldn't mind getting your reaction to Julian, what he's done, and how you're proud of what he's done to support the WikiLeaks cause. Well, I'm astounded. <laughs> Absolutely astounding. I think he got it all from his mother. <laughs> and uh, do you speak with him much? I ring frequently and uh, last time I asked, I said, well, how's it going? He said, well, you know, uh, he's in a small room. I think it's four metres by 3.6, quite small. And in that he has a, a, uh, a treadmill and a sun lamp. There's no garden. Uh, but he, he faces his uh, future with equanimity and, and says that you know he may have to spend 12 months in this situation, and so he faces the the fears that that would generate in my breast. He's got a computer, doesn't he? Yes, yes, a computer and a telephone. Yeah. Well, he's but still I, getting out then. Yes, uh, uh, so they're still working, as you can see. The WikiLeaks releases things now and again. Yes. Um, they had a release of the uh, Stratford, was it Stratford? Stratford, yeah. yeah. Vladimir Putin is the last person to come out today saying that he thinks the whole uh, case against Julian is political. How do you feel about your son of this worldwide figurehead, I guess, for, for 
Well, he, seem, he, he seems to... Uh, I've always had him a, a strange affection for Vladimir Putin. It's increased since you told me that. Uh, uh, it seems as though he, uh, he handles himself at those rarefied atmospheres really quite well. Uh, and, uh, it must have uh, taken a great deal of uh, suffering to have learned so quickly how to move amongst those people and what to say and how uh, not to display fear when the whole of the American Empire wishes to crush you.